morning to everybody. It's nice to be here. Aborigines in Australia have an idea, sentence. They are saying in the world there are good places and bad places. They believe that their place where they live is one of the good places. I'm mentioning it because to be in Berlin for diplomacy, for cultural diplomacy, for peace, for culture of human rights is a good place. Geneva is a good place for human rights. I would like to say that this place here is meeting point. People are coming, getting together, getting friends like myself and Mark, and you meet persons like Isa Dorkun. Please will you stand up? Yes. <laughs> Isa Dorkun is my friend from Berlin. We met here two years ago. Then he invited me to London. Uh, letters have been going to Zagreb and Geneva and Munich where they are at home, at the office, uh, under the title, it was nice to meet you in Berlin. Isa is executive secretary of the Congress for Human Rights in China. China, big China. We met and we have been discussing this problem in the very heart of the human rights culture and center, which is Geneva. They're discussing terrible situation for human rights in his country, in big China. Saying this, I'm very happy to be here with you. I'm going to chair very, in a very friendly way the discussions and presentations. Human rights are now extremely important, as you well know. It is said that we are going to the global human rights culture. There has been some writings on culture of culture of war and violence, culture, and that is not culture, that is the opposite, culture of peace and nonviolence. It is exactly what we have here, promoting culture of peace and nonviolence, which is including human rights. This culture is tended to be very important. It has been said there is a culture of life and culture of death, suggesting that abortion and euthanasia is culture of death and the culture of life is to promote life, to preserve life and so on. There is no other more important question and point and problem than the right to life, security, peace, health and so on freedom, equality of genders, and we are going to start with this. So it's nice that you came here. We are going to be in a friendly way discussing important problems in this world, which is all but perfect, all but without violence. Syria has been mentioned was presented here by, by nephew living now in London, nephew of Premier Assad. Syria is approaching 100,000 people being killed in 10 months. It's terrible. It's around the corner. It's not far away. Look, the whole globe is, the whole world is small if you see it in the sky by astronomic tools watching to the sky. What is there? Stars, yes, small, big, shining, and we are the one. And Syria is on Mediterranean. Croatia is on Mediterranean, on the sea. And we are here going to discuss problem. How to avoid it? How to support peace in the world? One of the ways is cultural diplomacy, soft diplomacy, nonviolence discussing, making, finding solution, resolution of the problem. We hope 
that this is a task that deserves our attention. I'm going to mention what happened last, in the last century. After two wars, there came the United Nations, and three years later, with one lady, Eleanor Roosevelt, widow of the President Roosevelt, was chairing a commission which has developed a beautiful piece of law, the most beautiful, not the first one being mentioned, but yes, it was important, Universal Declaration on Human Rights, Universal Declaration. She has named it that it is Magna Carta, the main document for human rights, human beings. She was a lady, she was active in this. We are going to discuss here these first two days mostly on equality of sex, genders, and the rights of the women and men being equal. Thank you for your attention, and we shall then continue with our work. Thank you.